buka tuh jam ke Hi, good morning. Um, welcome back to my channel again, MV Auto Service and Repair. And this morning we have a customer here with um, i20 Hyundai, and uh, this is a service. But the customer also complaining about the airbag lights on on the dash, and when we scan it that's the code that we get so b1346 the driver airbag resistance too high and uh, if you have a dummy you can put a dummy here and you will you will know when the when the uh, airbag lights will gonna off if it's off then the this black spring here was is uh, uh, faulty. And on here, that's the three clips over there. So just press it out. Just press it out. All the clips and pull it. Remove all those connectors here, and then that's it. So this be careful for this one. This is the lock for the clock spring not allowing to move to turn this one here. Once you remove this one and then the inner part of the clock spring will turn, your parts will gonna be damaged. Unclip. <coughs> you have to unclip all all this lock here. And put it fit it here on the new one so this one here there's a clip here you need to undo that one so you have to fit this one in here in the new one Just press it on and that's it. Make it sure that all the locks are properly in place. Yeah, and then put that one here. Yep. Refit all those connectors. this clip here make it sure that is unlocked before you press it through the module so now it's there so yep. then you can now remove this lock here yeah Now it's good. Refit this one here. Yep. good then now yeah this one here just make it sure that it is unlocked before you fit it in and uh, there is a guide on the on the there's a guide in here so make it sure that you put in a right way it won't it won't go through anyway if it is if it is not but yeah 
if you don't mind this guide here you will damage that two terminal it's really tiny yep push then lock yep you don't need to go to a technician to just replace this one it's easy you can do by your own The, be careful be careful of uh, replacing that one before you commence the job in there you must you must remove the negative battery terminal first because if not and you remove there the airbag will gonna be will gonna explode we gonna deploy so make it sure that So the DLC cable for here, you have to pop out this one, yeah, and it's over there. So you see that you see this just have a look in here once the airbag is light on if there is no problem it comes off with in maybe five seconds see it's come off but 0.4 MPI airbag See, there's no code so yeah I <coughs> yeah yeah thanks for watching guys and uh, yeah um, don't forget to subscribe my channel and to and hit the notification bell um, button and then yeah uh, so that you will be updated for uh, some videos to <coughs> be uploaded so thank you very much have a good day